Welcome back. What do you think so far? I think it looks nice. Halfway there. Oh, I decided to secure the left stringer. Needs to be secured. Okay. Safety first, if you know what I mean. All right. Going to get rid of these studs. Finish up today. Today is the day. Today has to be the day it gets done. I'm going to add the boards. And this will look brand new. I mean, yeah, guys, once I add the wood piece, this one, to there, all I have to do is add the other boards, and that's pretty much a wrap. And we'll have a brand new set of stairs. I love when the plan comes together. All right, here's my mark. Remember, guys, get an angle square. You'll need it for a job like this. You know what? In order for me to get the two by sixes in place, I have to lift up on the steps. All four of them. I'm still staging this, if you know what I mean. Got two of them in. Using this mallet. Coming in handy. It's almost like I had to start over, but I couldn't force the two by sixes in. So I have to do it this way. In my opinion, things are starting to shape up. Wondering how it's going to look once these studs are gone and I replace them. Hard work, though, guys. Hard work. Got that bottom one in. Now I have to do something about the top. I'm going to get it, though. As you can see, way off, way off. 1x8 isn't working. have to go back to the store and get a 1x10. Take note of this, guys. Last night they had plenty treated 1x10s. Today, absolutely nothing. And I thought I should have picked one up. But since I saw that they had so many, I wasn't worried about it. Today, I looked like a fool. I got an unfinished one by 10. Well, I'm back trying to wrap it up. Call me the closer. While I was at the store, I picked up some wood filler, made too many unnecessary holes. Picked up a new tape measure too. The one I was using was horrible. Had to throw it out. Okay, got it up. I hope you can tell the difference between treated and untreated. Need to screw this down more. Okay. So far, so good. I did this. I did this. Have to put this in a little more. I'll get it done. So once I realized getting a treated one by 10 wasn't going to happen. And trust me, I looked all over. There are no more one by 10s. I got a piece like a molding. Let me show you. I bought this piece and I thought I can make this look like a custom job almost hold on guys give me one second what do you think man this will look great if i pull this off i can see it now got some aluminum trim nails this is all i got no wood nails no nail gun not only did that not work nope absolutely not tried using screws small screws and they just ate through the wood, cracked it and everything. My God. You know what, guys? I can almost guarantee if I had a nail gun, it would have worked. All right. Time to replace the studs. I know it's been painful to watch, but this is almost over. Overruled by management. I've been removing the red wood, the step the first one or the last one, depending on where you're standing, needs to come out more. So back to the drawing board, so to speak. It's the next, next day. Got my bucket with my tools. I was chipping away at this thing last night. Let's finish up. Of course, the last one is the hardest one. Why wouldn't it be? I'm not taking a shot at anyone, but it's easy to criticize the work when you don't have to do it. Try picking up this hammer and crowbar. And hauling the material around. Then you can give your input. Okay, finally removed that wood. So here we go. Got some screws and nails I have to remove. Of course, of course I do. Let's go back to square one. Hey, makes sense to me. Starting to see why they did what they did. This piece isn't wide enough. And in order for me to put the one by ten here... 
and secure it with a screw. I need a strip of wood to go across there. Not only did I get the strip I needed, I bought some one by sixes and I'll remove the two by sixes. I just need to put that strip there and carry on. Here we go, something like this. What do you guys think? Be honest, leave your comments in the comment section. I gave myself a C. All the rain is the reason why you see the stains on the wood. I ended up removing that strip, wasn't working, but added support to the left stringer. Next year, I'll change the first and fourth step. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.